Welcome to Senior High School Math Series. Let us have logarithmic functions, logarithmic equations, and logarithmic inequalities under General Mathematics, Quarter 1, Week 8. This is based on Curriculum Implementation and Learning Management Matrix for K-12's to Most Essential Learning Competencies. Here is our learning competency. Distinguishes among logarithmic functions, logarithmic equation, and logarithmic inequality. Before we continue, let us ponder on this. Math can be related to our lives. It teaches us to always be careful with the signs. Okay, let us have a recall for the definition of a logarithm. Let A, B, and C be positive real numbers such that B is not equal to 1. The logarithm of A with the base B is denoted by logarithm of A base B and is defined as C is equal to the logarithm of A base B. When you say logarithm of A base B, it's like it's asking how many times the base B must be taken as a factor to get A. So in this case, B is the base and A is the argument of the logarithm. Now when we say C is equal to logarithm of A base B, therefore C is the answer to this. That means B must be multiplied C number of times to get A. That's why the logarithm of A base B is defined as C is equal to logarithm of A base B if and only if A is equal to B raised to C. Therefore, the logarithmic form of the equation can be translated into an exponential form of the statement. Hence, when we write logarithm of 4 to the base x plus 1 equals 2, in exponential form, we have 4 is equal to x plus 1, open and close parentheses, raised to 2. Okay, let us now have some definitions. Logarithmic equation. This is an equation involving logarithms. A logarithmic equation can be solved for all values of x that satisfies the equation. The different ways of solving logarithmic equation will be discussed in the next set of lessons. So let us have some example of logarithmic equation. Logarithm of 2 base x is equal to 4. Observe how the statements of logarithmic equation are being read. Next example. x plus 3 is equal to the logarithm of 32 to the base 2. Another one. The logarithm of Open and close parenthesis, 2x plus 5 is equal to 2. In this example, you will notice that we do not have a base. If this is the case, then it must be understood by students and teachers alike that when the base is not written, it means to the base 10. Okay, again. Logarithm of open and close parenthesis 2x plus 5 is equal to 2. And this is understood to be under base 10. So when you write this in exponential form, it must be 10 raised to 2 is equal to 2x plus 5. Next, let us have logarithmic inequality. An inequality involving 
of course, logarithms. So, a logarithmic inequality, again, like logarithmic equation, can be solved for all values of x that satisfy this statement. So, the property of logarithmic inequality will be used to solve the logarithmic inequality and we will take that also in the next set of lessons. Let us have some examples. This is what you call the natural logarithm. So, this is the natural logarithm of x squared is greater than open and close parenthesis natural logarithm of x squared or we say ln x squared is greater than open and close parenthesis ln x squared next example the logarithm of 2x plus 1 to the base 2 is less than the logarithm of x plus 2 to the base 2 Another one, logarithm of x plus 1 to the base 2 plus logarithm of x minus 2 to the base 2 is greater than or equal to 3. Logarithmic function. A function of the form f of x is equal to logarithm of x to the base b where b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1. The logarithmic function is the inverse of exponential function. A logarithmic function expresses a relationship between two variables and can be represented by table of values or graph. So like other function, the logarithmic function can also be represented by a graph. Let us have examples g of x is equal to logarithm of x to the base 3. y is equal to logarithm of x plus 1 to the base 3. Okay, now let us go to some practice exercises. In the practice exercises, I will give you 15 seconds to answer the items so that you may pause if you need some more time to answer and then play again to see whether your answers are correct okay determine whether the given is a logarithmic function a logarithmic equation a logarithmic inequality or none of these we have g of x is equal to logarithm of x to the base 5 logarithm of 4x is equal to logarithm of 3x plus 5 x times the logarithm of x to the base 2 minus 1 is greater than 0. y is equal to 2 times the logarithm of x to the base 4. The logarithm of x times x minus 1 is equal to the logarithm of 4. Go. Okay, let us see the answers. Number one, it's a logarithmic function. Number two, is a logarithmic equation. Number three, is a logarithmic inequality. Number four, is a logarithmic function. Number five, logarithmic equation. Did you get all five? Let us have one more set of practice exercises. Again, determine whether the given is a logarithmic function, a logarithmic equation, a logarithmic inequality, or none of these. Logarithm of 2x plus 1 base 2 is greater than logarithm of x to the base 3 plus 2. h of x is equal to logarithm of x to the base 25 hundredths. A logarithm of x to the base 0. 0.25. 2 plus y is equal to logarithm of x to the base 3. 
logarithm of 2x minus 1 to the base 3 is equal to 2. Logarithm of x squared equals 2. 15 seconds. Time is up. Let us see the answers. Number one is a logarithmic inequality. Number two is a logarithmic function. Number three is a logarithmic function. Number four is a logarithmic equation. Number five is a logarithmic equation. Okay, for exercises on this topic, you may download from the link given on the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math lessons.